Now, the CTFM Foundation has presented a sum of 50,000 Ghana cities to two orphanages as part of its annual Easter orphan project. The check donations are in addition to the assorted food and domestic items made possible by the generosity of listeners and viewers of CTFM and City TV. The beneficiary orphanages are the Baptist School Complex, an orphanage known as Basco Atroto near Suhun, and the Tamale Children's Home. The over the action aim of this particular project is to bring joy and support to these children without parental care this Easter season. City News' Ni Lati Lati has more for us. It is that time of the year again. The CTFM Foundation has returned to the Baptist School Complex and Orphanage Bar School with its annual Easter Orphan Project. Just as you may be aware, this isn't our first visit here. It isn't the second either, not even the third by the 18th year that we are supporting children of this orphanage. Indeed, since 2005, uh, CTFM and CTTV, through the benevolence of its listeners and viewers, have been extending support to the children of Basco every Easter Monday. In the past, the foundation has been helping, even during the times of the COVID-19 pandemic. The challenges did not deter the CTFM Foundation to continue with its support. Quite recently, Basco benefited from a borehole project, which has been of help not only to the orphanage, uh, but also to the entire community. Worth mentioning is the 30 bed girls dormitory, which was also handed over to Basco some two years ago all through the city fm foundation the list is endless and so today we have come once again just as we do it with lots of goodies and other forms of assistance to share with the children here at basco on the occasion of easter this time around what did our benevolent listeners and viewers provided us with to share with the children here at basco we have student mattresses, we have cartons of milk, we have boxes of cooking oil, we have detergents, we have bags of rice, I mean a lot of goodies. There are toiletries as well as stationery, all to help ensure that these children do not feel left out of the Easter festivities. We are trying as much as possible to make sure that the Easter is one that is unforgettable in the memories of the children here at Basco. This was how we were welcomed here at Basco. Chief of Troto, Nene Katamanto II, was very much happy to see City FM and City TV here. This time around, he says that words cannot fully express the joy with which they always look forward to seeing City FM and City TV coming here to donate to the orphanage. We are always happy when we see City TV and City FM here. They always come here every year to support us. And we appreciate it. We say thank you and may God bless you. As we can see, we have many things here, mattress, uh, food stuff and everything here that will support us but I think it will take us for the whole year and not to eat and sleep only but to help us to learn and achieve our goal. We thank you. May God richly bless you. Aside from these essentials that we have provided to the orphanage, we do not leave the children and management of Basco just like that. The generosity of the viewers and listeners of City FM also extended to some financial support. This year, City FM Foundation has presented a check for 30,000 Ghana cities to help in running affairs of Basco. Richard Mensa is programs manager here at City FM and City TV making the donation. This has been something uh, that has been made possible by the generosity of our listeners and uh, viewers. And so we come here today uh, empowered by them and also empowered by management to do this presentation to the children here uh, at Basco. On uh, behalf of management, we want to do this uh, presentation. So the presentation is the 
uh, assorted uh, items that we see here, and also we make a, a check uh, donation of uh, 30,000 uh, Ghana cities oh, okay. for the running of uh, the place. Okay, um, we, and for as for the things you can already see it here, uh, all that. So, like I said already, uh, through the generosity of our listeners and our viewers, that is City FM and City TV, we're able to gather uh, these uh, food items and also toiletries and other clothing and mattresses to present to uh, the school. So, Reverend for this for uh, through you to basco indeed a moment of joy for the founder and director of basco reverend victor ofori amwa he is immensely grateful he has expressed appreciation for the immense support that city fm and city tv have been providing uh, basco for the past 18 years this thing i can tell you will go a long way to even bring a whole generation into a limelight. We really love you, CTFM, and your numerous listeners and viewers. You have done so much for us, and we can't just keep quiet talking about it. Only sometimes you don't want us to come there to thank you. But uh, I will also use this opportunity to stand uh, uh, to say thank you for the community because you gave us boho and you couldn't leave them out. You gave them also a boho. And thank God for all these things that you people are doing. Please send our regards to all the leaders, leadership of the company and your listeners and viewers and tell them like Basco stand for good things and we will continue to do these things to support the children of Ghana, that uh, we don't want any child to be a liability to the nation in future. So when they come here, we use every method to help them and to cause them to go forward. And we thank you, it's just because even pencils, even crayons, you supply. May God richly bless you all. Richard Kofi is a past student of Basco, and if you have been following, our support to Basco. Each time we come here, he's one of the key persons who will receive us just because of his success story. Had it not been for the benevolence of some of you viewers and listeners of CTFM and CTTV, we would not know what the story would have been. I might say it's a great blessing, and I will begin by thanking CTFM, CTTV, the management, listeners, and all viewers. Uh, 18 years ago, I was also sitting in one of the chairs expecting CTFM to come. And over the years, I have seen how the great benevolence of CTFM, CTTV uh, has been of a great support to us. As a beneficiary of this great work, I have seen that not only do they care for our social being, but our educational needs as well. And so Reverend Victor, having this vision, couldn't run it alone. And so having CTFM to support us for the past 18 years is a great blessing. And for me, having CTFM every Easter Monday is a great job. Meanwhile, in the Northern region, a similar donation exercise happened at the Tamale Children's Home. Uh, the supervisor for the facility, Madame Sarah Suleimana, was grateful uh, to the cherished donors for the Anna Dandem. We are so grateful. We are so thankful receiving City TV. Again, last year they were here, and this year they didn't forget of us again. They have come to bless us. We want to promise them that the 20,000 they are giving us, we are going to put it in a good use. And we want to also say whatever that they are doing for the children, it will not go in vain. We are so grateful. We are so happy. Everyone who donated to help any orphanage, including us, we say thank you. God bless you. Wherever you had the money, may God fulfill it back. We are so grateful, and we know you will never forget us again. And so for them, this fresh 20,000 uh, cash donation that has been presented to them will lead to a more sustainable development of the orphanage. Here is Madam Sarah 
Sulemana again. Then last year, they came here Easter again, and we appealed for them because we are having a problem at our facility, one of where the children are living. They, we were having a problem of a lighting system, which we talked to them. They used the money to do the rewiring, the whole block for us. We were so grateful because the place was scaring for us. Because any time it rains, the places catch up. But they did it for us. We were happy since then up to now. We have never experienced such. And we want to say we are so grateful. For us here at City FM and City TV, the Easter Orphan Project being spearheaded by the CTFM Foundation serves as a reminder of our collective effort, making a positive impact and above all, touching the lives of the less privileged. And to all those of you whose kind contributions made this gesture possible, the children here at Basco C, they are grateful for putting these broad smiles on their faces. One more time, from the Baptist School Complex and Orphanage at Trotto, near Sum in the Eastern Region, I am Ni Latte Latte for City News.